You are watching CIO TV by Enterprise IT World, a production of Accent Info Media. The role of the CIO has changed for a number of years anyway. It's no longer the guy or the team in the dark closet somewhere. It's right at the forefront of the business. Okay, very quickly, if you can introduce uh, your infrastructure that you are uh, handling, uh, uh, what are the challenges that you had lockdown period, or your company was not to that extent affected by the lockdown? We were quite lucky. We, went, we have 3,500 employees based across Jordan, KSA, Egypt, uh, and uh, UAE, and we have plants in Abu Dhabi, Dubai, uh, Jordan, and KSA. So these are our manufacturing plants as well as Egypt. Um, we went live with uh, Office 365 and the entire Microsoft suite in, on January the 1st, 2020. Uh, all of our users now use the complete Microsoft Cloud solution. They are all um, using that brilliantly. Uh, thank God we went on that solution because otherwise it would be very difficult for us to, to work remotely. The use of Microsoft Teams within our organization has increased by 200% because now people are working at home, they start to use that. Um, so that's our office productivity suite. Um, at the same time, we also launched something called Yammer from Microsoft, which is their internal social media. And that allowed us to do events, games, uh, business updates, et cetera, et cetera. So from an office productivity suite, we are completely Microsoft and thank God we went live on January the 1st. In addition, we are, went live with the Oracle Cloud Suite, uh, specifically around uh, HR processes. Uh, and we moved a lot of our platforms to the cloud on the Oracle side. So again, thank God we moved to the cloud early, January the 1st, we went live. And also just to add to the chaos, we also went live with our, um, what we call sales force automation tool on January the 1st. So basically all of our sales personnel who go around to retail stores, hotels, restaurants, they all have this mobile device, mobile device in their hands and they go around and capture orders using that technology. So to answer your question, we are so thankful that we went to the cloud on January the 1st. Otherwise, like, some other companies we hear about, they struggle with their technology, but thank God we, we went to the cloud. So it means when you are saying that you have got Microsoft Cloud, you have got Oracle Cloud, so also you, you have uh, Salesforce uh, Automation Cloud. So you are handling at a time three cloud. So you are into multiple cloud situation, isn't it? So yes, do we you use have multiple your, clouds. Yeah, so my question is, do you have any inner, uh, in-house resources that you are, you are managing or it's outsourced uh, to a third party? How are you managing the multi cloud situation, which is pretty difficult, you know, while while uh, uh, talking to each other, uh, you know, there are three three sets of uh, rules, three sets of uh, uh, you know devices, three sets of everything. A uh, great question. Uh, so one of the first things that we done uh, probably August last year was restructure our entire team. So we first thing we done before we migrate to cloud is ensure that we have the right skills in house. And that would that required some restructuring. Just being honest, you know, new skills, new new platforms, but also we kept uh, a lot of the team here, and we started to reskill them in the new world. We also brought in new people who are specialised in this area. So we brought in a Hyperion specialist as an example, who's got cloud experience, and we brought in some new resources who understand the new way of working. Um, so yeah, we manage three three different clouds. Yep, we do that. It's not easy. Um, but uh, we manage that in-house. So our Oracle Cloud is managed in-house uh, and we use Oracle's uh, customer success manager to help us manage that. We manage Salesforce in-house as well and we manage the Microsoft in-house. Now, the good thing is we have a very, very good relationship with our partners. Uh, that's the key. If you have good relationship with your partners, they will go the extra mile to help you. And touch wood, thank God, at the moment, they're doing a, a very good job in making sure that we are always up to date on our cloud uh, protocols and security, etc. Okay, Mr. Yahya, if you look at this is this situation, the COVID particularly has has uh, you know brought in lots of chaos, uh, uh, not only from the healthcare uh, point of view, but from the security point of view also. Uh, floods of uh, you know attacks, um, uh, ransomware, everything is every day you will hear about it that uh, some or other organization getting getting affected. I mean, large names have been uh, a victim of ransomware and uh, it is continuing till now. 
uh, how are you being a head of uh, it division how are you uh, managing monitoring the security aspect uh, given the situation that some of your workforce is working from home uh, again uh, again it's a cliche but we went live on january the 1st with a completely new infrastructure that's both for remote working and office working so we updated all of our security software as well we went live with office productivity, but we also went live with Microsoft's E5 security layer. So all of the executive team here at Fine, we all have military grade security. And a lot of our members of staff have a very high security protocol. So when they work at home, they use the latest Palo Alto network for security. They use the latest Microsoft uh, security and the latest VPN security. So a great question. We made sure before we go live on the cloud that we are very, very secure on our cloud infrastructure and people working from home. Okay, since I'm asking you questions related uh, or in between this COVID situation, social distancing, social uh, norm, new norm is, is enforced. Uh, uh, in that enforcement, you can see uh, people do not prefer to talk to each other, meet each other also. So you need lots of robotics, you need lots of you know automation. Are you planning or do you have any kind of uh, robotics uh, projects uh, uh, in your organization? Or have you implemented certain kind of bots services to automate uh, your processes? Yeah, so it's a good question. So we have a very, very active online presence at the moment, which is run by our digital transformation team. As you can imagine, people want a lot of deliveries online and they start to use, they start to request fine products online, be it on Amazon or be it on our own website. Um, yeah, we use an element of, of bots on our own held managed website. Yes, for sure, through our digital transformation team. In fact, we are kicking off a very big project this Sunday for our entire supply chain team uh, across the world where we're going to implement the Oracle supply chain, which gives us the foundation then to have clean data and to allow us to then move into a world of artificial intelligence, robotics, automation, robotic process automation. So yes, absolutely, that is part of the plan. We went live with Oracle uh, HCM solution in February this year. Now that the system's stable, we're going to start to use, again, a robotic process automation, analysis, artificial intelligence, so that we can really home in on the data we have and understand our business a lot better. All right. Now I'm hearing a lot globally that that the management is uh, contracting uh, the budgets uh, that they had uh, laid out for uh, newer projects. Uh, are you also facing the same thing? Budget being squeezed, uh, uh, given the amount of projects the, that you have in your mind to implement in this uh, fiscal year. Uh, we, I, uh, I have a great CEO who understands technology. We have a great board and a chairman who understands technology. And to answer your question, they've actually increased my budget. What we've all realized post-corona is without technology, you can't move forward. And if you haven't invested in technology, you need to invest quickly uh, because this is, the f this is now. This is no longer the conversation about the future. This is now. So, yeah, I'm very fortunate. I'm in a very fortunate position. I have a CEO and a CFO that uh, understands technology as well as a board, and it's driving our business forward. And without it, we can't move forward. Excellent. Uh, thanks to your CEO and CFO uh, for supporting you. Are you planning any projects? Are you planning any, anything that uh, uh, for the next, uh, say, quarter or uh, two quarters from now? Yep. Yeah, we uh, kick off a big supply chain project this Sunday. At the same time, my data warehouse team is moving our data warehouse from on-premise to on-cloud, but actually they're going to use the Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse. Brand new technology. Uh, amazing what it can do. So at the moment, yeah, we're, we're moving to the Oracle Autonomous Data Warehouse, which is exciting, technically, geeky talk there, but for the business, we'll provide just amazing data. Okay. Any Anything around uh, Kubernetes or container technology for quick uh, migration or quick... Uh, application development that you are planning to inbuilt into your system? So that's part of the long-term vision, yes. At the moment, we've just got a clear, we have a data issue. We have so much data that hasn't been cleansed, that's not accurate. And all of these technology, container, AI, blockchain, all of this fantastic stuff, absolutely. But at the moment, we're just trying to get the basics in place. Once that's done, and again, we're on a very quick plan. Once that's done, 100%. This is a technology that we're going to start to use. You can see other CIOs, other uh, you know peer group. They are also trying something or other. What kind of advice you have uh, 
to your peer group or the people who wants to uh, uh, go into the shoes of the CIOs or the head of IT decision making? Okay, I think there's two things. I think one is the role of the CIO has changed for a number of years anyway. It's no longer the guy or the team in the dark closet somewhere. It's right at the forefront of the business. I work with HR, supply chain, marketing, every single department across the business I have the privilege and honor of working with. So I get to see across the entire business. I'm not confined to one particular area. So my advice to my peers is to understand the business. This isn't a technical discussion. You need to understand the business, where it's heading, and how technology can help those areas. And from a technical perspective, stop wasting time. Move to the cloud quickly. Uh, it's, it, it's, a few, it's not even the future. You need to do it now. The days of servers on-premise and data centers are over. It's, it's you know, let, let the big companies that they, get, that they know what they're doing manage your infrastructure. That's my honest advice. All right then, thank you very much. Uh, you have been so nice and so smart in answering without any hesitation for a second you answered all my questions. Thank we're, you we're so much. That's Sanjaya, we're a nice company. Fine, have good ethics and we, we try and do our best for our company but also for the industry. So please reach out with anything you want. It's, it's a pleasure. Thank you, thank you.